Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Happy Thanksgiving. Melissa and I, um, the entire family, like to wish everyone a safe and uh, safe holiday. Uh, I like to talk about, uh, take a minute and talk about Thanksgiving for this year, for 2020. Um, as we near the end of 2020, another wave of coronavirus uh, restrictions. Winter will be upon us soon. Christmas shopping's in full swing. And some Thanksgiving parties and gatherings are either canceled or have been modified to support social distancing. So this Thanksgiving is more important than ever this year. It may be quieter, may be smaller. It may feel different. But if we take a moment to reflect on the little things that we are great, thankful for, Thanksgiving can be, mean, could mean so much more. I am grateful for several things. Um, I'm grateful for God for watching and protecting my family uh, during this difficult year uh, on so many levels. Uh, from my treating my uh, depression and anxiety, as well as looking after my family, my wife, uh, through the pandemic. Uh, so we've been very blessed that we've been safe, um, healthy for the most part. I am grateful for my family. Uh, again, we overcome many challenges so far in 2020 at a personal level, at a overall level, you know, dealing with the pandemic um, but for personal reasons you know we are we're hanging in there together the best way we can uh, and after getting through the pandemic I think we'll be all in a far better place um, we're thankful for our friends offering assistance at any time uh, at our time of need this year um, supporting friends. I mean, even with the, the pandemic and the restrictions, you know, reaching out to a friend, hey, I've been thinking about you. I am, you know, hang in there. Is there anything I could do for you to get through it? Because it's a, this pandemic is a very lonely thing. And uh, taking the time out, especially during this Thanksgiving, to remember those friends, you know, even though we can't be with them. We got to practice social distancing. At least we're, you know, reaching out to those friends, whether it's on Facebook or on the phone, text messages, um, Twitter, whatever, even on YouTube, you know, that we are thinking about you. And I'm also grateful that I'm still working through the pandemic, um, that it really hasn't affected us too much, but it has. I am working out of the house. I have been for a long time prior, even prior through the pandemic. Um, I'm grateful that I'm still working. I know many people um, due to the restrictions are being laid off or lost their job. And we've got some family members who, you know, are in the healthcare industry that are risking their own lives to protect others. So our thoughts and prayers are with them. Friendship plays such as an essential part of our lives, but we rarely, we rarely take the time to express how important our family and our friends are to us. Um, Thanksgiving is a timely reminder to pause and give thanks for the beautiful things we have in our lives. Christmas is about presents. Easter is about chocolate. Valentine's Day, well... Another mind. But Thanksgiving is not just about the turkey. It's about appreciating our friends, our family, and our friends. You know, even, you know. So each year, Macy's Thanksgiving Parade will win through the streets of New York this year. Um, the National Football League will tackle head to head. To entertain us this year as normal. But we need to take a minute to give thanks for the privileges we have. 
And, you know, even we take a lot of things for granted. And this is the time of the year that we need to sit back and reflect. So, as we celebrate this day of gratefulness, Melissa and I would like to take a minute to wish you and your loved ones a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving. I would like to close this out with a short prayer, if I may. Dear God, thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives. Thank you for the godliness and the blessing over us. Thank you for your great love and care. Thank you for your sacrifice so that we may have freedom in life. Forgive us when we don't thank you enough for who you are, for all what you do, and all that you have given. Help us set our eyes and our, and our hearts, renew our spirits, and fill us with peace and joy. We love you and we need you today and every day. We give you the praise. Amen. Thank you very much. Um, this is going to be a short video. Um, our Thanksgiving tomorrow uh, is, you know, just to be the four of us. And uh, Melissa planned on recording that. So um, look out for that. And uh, so always stay humble and kind. And let's be careful out there. Take care.